Hi guys, it's Peter. So after some time I'm recording another, let's say, audio comment. This time I want to introduce you something like a quick guide for the newest version of Flow app. It's a version F155. And as the interest is raising and therefore there are more users of Flow app, therefore I decided it would make sense to provide you with a say some hints and ideas how the app works especially for this newest version f155 so i will a little bit skip the money management as you know it what is the difference between let's say mostly all previous apps and flow app for example is then you can set up a wire number of different number of spins per level if you enter three levels here and then you can always say in the first level like l1 i want to play 20 spins in the second level 10 and the third level only eight so this is the difference for money management than before so you can somehow vary your number of spins per level and see whether for example if you set up the level number one to two spins only so after two spins you will recalculate the current conditions if something change you might receive a new numbers prediction so what is the probably the most important part is because the this part is similar like always but most important part is is this one so i currently using this setup this is something what i found out like one of the best performing setup for me so i'm playing in money management 20 spins and one level and search and spins what it means right so if search and spins is 11 it means and you have to enter 23 numbers to receive the first prediction if your condition this condition is okay now how it works so if you enter search and spins 11 i'm taking 2 times 11 spins which means 22 numbers i'm cutting them into the half 11 and 11 and both of them i'm evaluating I'm evaluating them and actually I am using this condition FSDC which is a flow share dynamic count I expect that this value will be lower or equal this number 7 for example this is a parameter you can change it right so and this flow share dynamic count means something like how many unique patterns appeared in your second half of 11 numbers or second half of 22 numbers right as i said i'm splitting 22 numbers to 2 2 times 11 because your condition is 11 and in the second half the older part of 22 spins older part older 11 spins i'm searching for this condition 7 if it's okay and it is under or equal seven in this case then i'm evaluating the first part the younger part of the 22 spins last 11 numbers and if everything is fine then you will receive a prediction of the fixed pattern and <clears throat> what is also i would say very interesting i will now generate some numbers then we, we can see uh, more in action so now what we can evaluate here is this currently the most promising pattern based on our conditions and this condition i will explain quickly or soon is pattern number five therefore we receive prediction play pattern ending five the second part of this message box is flow share dynamic count is six which means it's lower than seven therefore we play if this would be eight here then we don't play and we don't have a any prediction so okay and as you can see i generated 30 numbers so it's more than 23 therefore you receive a prediction right it's always you need if you enter 11 you have to double that so 22 plus one and it's always the minimum once you reach 23 numbers in this case <coughs> you will receive a prediction and now also one of the very important parameter is this one array position here i have a three 
actually what I'm doing I am sorting all fixed patterns and we know there are 10 fixed patterns I'm sorting them to array and and this array is actually sorted based on number of hits so I'm saying if this array position is 0 it means it says give me the fixed pattern with the highest number of hits in my evaluated let's say part which means in this case 22 numbers huh? so this is the way how it's calculated there are some more adjustments so it's not exactly always the pattern with the highest number of hits because I'm using some small adjustments but the principle is like that so one of the let's say the most successful pattern is and you want to play that if array position is zero if the array position is going higher like one two three four five up to nine nine is maximum you can see here tooltip is zero to nine it means then if you enter nine here you are taking the pattern with the lowest hit in the last 22 spins and most probably this pattern has a hit number zero so this pattern didn't hit so you can actually use this parameter array position very interesting way so from zero to nine you can decide how successful your fixed pattern should be then you will take it and play so of course on array position 3 the patterns are changing right based on the numbers coming out of the online roulette and RNG you are constantly entering numbers and the pattern on this position number 3 is changing right so it's not the same but because the array is every time sorted but it's really important and it's a really flexibility for you to play with array position and really choose between 0 to 9 and they do not represent uh, let's say a fixed pattern if you enter array position 0 it does not mean 0 10 20 30 it means the a fixed pattern with the highest number of hits plus several adjustments from my side and this pattern is more probably winning therefore is on first position and first position is 0 right so this is how App works and I can tell you really I'm already already achieved 100% profit which you will soon see from my let's say live sessions and I'm pretty I would say I expect then the flow app can really provide great results because once I change this a little bit newest version like F155 with this flow share dynamic count it is really powerful formula and with good money management I am also able to have great results from tests and also real money play so I hope that this quick guide could help you a little bit understand more about the app and what is the principle behind and what is behind the algorithm and I'll be happy for your feedback as you send me as well so I'm very happy for that so and of course we will see each other at the tables so good luck to all and see you soon bye bye